look Here's the black holocaust I knew it was prophecy A thousand times worse than your Jewish atrocities Uneven playing field, there'll never be a fair score Cause in 1619, that's when they declare war We the 12 tribes, the ones that the promise reaches My Negro About the Bible What do I know about it? Yeah <laughs> Yeah, I was like, me and brother So hopefully And now it's written by, um Paul Paul wrote the Bible? A lot of it <laughs> what? Through God God wrote it through Paul Huh? God. God. God wrote it. God inspired it. Inspired. God inspired. What are you just laughing at? Paul, Paul wrote so funny. some of the New Testament. Because right? what you said was idiotic and hilarious. <laughs> Paul wrote oh. some of the New Testament. You guys all familiar? Okay. The rest was written by other oh, yeah, holy sure. prophets and Moses. I'll look into it, man. Okay. So you're a Christian? Um, what, what is yes. it? What's your denomination? I'm an evan evangelical. You're evangelical? Yeah. That means you go around and teach the Bible? What does the Bible say about uh, being drunk in the daytime? What does the Bible say about humbling yourself? Uh, I'm humble. Are, are you? I'm, I'm no, very, I'm sir. very humble. If I wasn't humble, we'd be, we'd be around. We'd be going from Fifth Avenue to Broadway, crashing white people if we wasn't humble. Right. We would get justice by our own hands instead of God's hands if we weren't humble. I'm just interested in what you guys have to say because um, I've seen you here. Last time we came here for dinner and I saw that this is kind of a spot that you guys kind of hang out. I just want to know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, so we're teaching that Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are actually the real Jews according to history, <laughs> archaeology, and prophecy, and that the white man is actually the devil that the Bible speaks. Of. That's right. right. Yes. What's your ethnicity? Ethnicity. Yeah. Well, I'm Caucasian. Caucasian. So you're from the Caucasus Mountains? I don't know. Your forefathers are from the Caucasus Mountains. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Would you be more, would you be white or would you be red? According to that, your skin tone right now. Your undertone. We're getting back to you guys are not humble. You guys are. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. 25 and 25. Give me Bring it out. Bring it out. 25 or 25. Bring it out. And Let's the first it. came out red. And the first came out red. So you're not white, you're red. Can we agree? That's why black people say rednecks. I don't know. Come on, bro. Look at Are you more white? You want me to take a picture of you and show it to you? <laughs> His bag is white. His bag is white. Your bag is white, your skin is red. Okay, so? So I just want to show you well, who you are. What does skin color have to do with anything? All I'm doing is showing you who you are in the Bible, because you're in the Bible. That's right. So read it again slowly for the brothers. That's this right. This is 25 and 25. Uh -huh. And the first came out. Red. And the first came out red. This is talking about Isaac and Rebecca. They had Where's two it? kids. Genesis chapter 25. Say it again. Say it again. I want to hear it. Go ahead. This is the I've, birth of the uh, Caucasian man. Go ahead. I was getting defensive, and now I just want to hear what you guys have to say. And the Go first ahead. came out red uh -huh. all over like a hairy garment. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Go ahead. And they called his name Esau. So Esau, that's when uh, the so-called European man uh, came into existence is with Esau. Okay. So your forefather would be Esau, That's and right. then they later on became the Edomites. Our forefather would be Isaac, who had, I'm sorry, Jacob, who later on became the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. So let me show you what God has to say about Caucasians in the Bible. I'll just give you a quick crash course on your history, because it doesn't start in Europe. It starts actually in the Middle East with Esau. Go ahead. Romans 9 and 13. Let's go to Paul. Now this is written by Paul, our beloved brother Paul. Our beloved brother Paul. Hey man. Go ahead. Yeah, Book of Romans chapter yeah, 9, yeah. verse 13. Uh -huh. As it is written. As it is written. Jacob have I loved. So God said he loved the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But what? But Esau have I hated. Right. But he hated Esau. So why is it that God hates white people? Why do you think that is? And again, Paul wrote this, not me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but the question, the question is, why would God say He hates white people? What did you guys do? God doesn't say He hates white people. Read it again for him. Bring it out. Bring it out. It's written, Jacob have I loved, uh -huh. but Esau have I hey. hated. So why what? would He say He hates hates the Europeans and Caucasians? What you guys do? I don't know. <laughs> and you keep telling us to be humble because we're out here standing to your face boldly and calling you a devil, and you can't just call us niggers and whip us with whips anymore oh, so you want to that. try to say oh you guys need to be humble right. never seen that. What's this? that's showing you that the devil is the white man that the, the devil that the bible Jesus speaks of so, oh, well what color was it? Jesus.
Middle Eastern? Of course. That's two different directions. Where the hell is that at? <laughs> Can you show me the Middle East in a, in, on, a, on, a, on a lateral, on a, on a, uh, right, I'm not gonna sit here. on a longitude and latitude? <laughs> All right. The point is this: that the so-called white man, the Caucasians, you guys are, you guys are Esau and like the Edomites. Ones. We're the chosen ones. That's right. That's right. That's right. And God said he's, going it. It. he's not red. He's not red. He, he not, he, he's not red. Yeah, look, he's not red. So look, death to America. That's right. That's death right. To the so-called white man. That's right. Death to all these other nations. That's right. The right. Bible says God gonna pay y'all back for what you did to the black Hispanics and Native Americans. That's You're right. That's right. Trump, right? I love Trump. You love Trump. <laughs> you love the Constitution. I love it. You love it because it was created for you to love. It wasn't Amen. created for us. It was created for you. God bless you guys. Yeah. How do you feel about standing on stolen ground? How do you feel about rape, robbing, and murdering the Native Americans? To be able to have dinner over there, all on the blood and bones of the Native Americans. Right. How do you feel about that? And what should happen? Right. What should happen? Just go ahead and say it. Say what's on your mind. Let that racism come back at you. That's not hard. No, I, no. I don't. I don't have any. I'm more racist than there. you. So if you get racist, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Apply. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> you? Why? Wow. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you since you walked up here. Because <laughs> what you did was you came amongst the men of God. That's right. You came amongst the men of God and you received your judgment. All right, so get ready for slavery. That's the right. is going to destroy this place. That's Russia, right. Russia and North Korea can destroy this place right now if they exactly. wanted to, but they're just waiting for the right time to bring right. this hell hole down. You know, you're about as orange as Donald Trump, too. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Bring it up. For the Revelations, chapter 13, verse 9. If yeah. any man have an ear, let him hear. Uh -huh. He that leadeth into captivity. So they led us into captivity. That's right. So what's going to happen? Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Save him, save him. So you might as well go buy yourself a pair of handcuffs. That's, that's, that's what terrible. Put them chains on and go I home. hope that doesn't happen to me or any of you guys. Well, it already happened. Yeah. So what was the justice? That's terrible. What was the justice? Have you been paid back for? No. So what have you done to show some remorse about what happened? That's not That's not my ancestors that did that. Oh, really? <laughs> Your ancestors didn't do it? No, I can't. You said you were Caucasians. I know, but I'm from Europe. You're from Europe? Where are you at? My family's European. Your family's European? Where do you think where do you think the where do you think the people came from that took the people from West Africa? That's terrible. That's terrible. They came from Europe to West Africa. And then they brought us to America. So Europeans are actually the main culprit. That's right, that's right. And you understand why you uh why you guys even left Europe? Because there was no natural resources there. So that's why the Pope gave Europeans the authority to go all across the world conquering in the name of Christianity and white privilege. All right? So that's the history that is given. Hey, real quick, last question. What's that pattern on your on your boots? Boom! 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 That's right. Hey, he's going to be the buck book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Last scripture, then you got Prepare slaughter for his children. God said, prepare slaughter for his children. Go ahead. For the iniquity of their fathers. So God said, you got to get paid back for what your ancestors did. That's right. That's right. That's in the Holy Bible, all right?